fear is what keeps us content, comfortable, safe. It's what keeps us the same. Not as many people experience joy. Joy is on the opposite side of fear. In order to get to joy, you actually have to push past your fear. So I challenge each one of you to find a fear that you can approach, disengage, and walk past and find a more joyous version of yourself. Courage and tranquility. True courage is facing danger even when you are afraid. The transition at the end of this physical life, although unknown, may bring a state of tranquility with the formless stream of consciousness. It takes courage to endure the sharp pains of self-discovery rather than choose to take the dull pain of unconsciousness that would last the rest of our lives. Love lies deep in your heart, engulfing it like an infection, so completely, so entirely, no rib cage can protect it, no bullet can kill it. And in the shadows of our heart, on guard at all times, you will find rage, a fearless combustible force ready to unleash itself at the very threat of a word. So give love and measure your words. The only thing that I can do with my regrets is either wilt like a daisy or go forward to live the life that one has been gifted. The daisy is curious and content, especially in the season of spring, when there's a vivid and wholesome gift of life. This simple flower reminds me to lightly question and deeply marvel at the mysterious beauty of life.